Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at the Click PLC by Automation Direct. It is a micro PLC and what we will do is look at the hardware in order to build a system um, that we'd like. So heading over to the Automation Direct website, you will see that on there we can actually download the complete manual or we can download the individual uh, portions of the manual that we're interested in. Now the first thing we're going to do is take a, actually take a look at the actual uh, PLC itself and I actually have uh, these can act as a standalone individual unit and what we can do is we can actually add up to eight additional IO units for our system. And the actual PLC comes in five different varieties. We have the basic PLC, um, which will have uh, eight in and six out. We also have no analog on here. We have an RS-232, two ports actually. And we have no battery backup and no runtime edit. Then we have standard PLCs, which just have the um, additional RS-485 port and we have the analog PLCs which include both discrete and analog on board um, with battery backup and the RS-485. Then we have the Ethernet uh, basic PLCs and we have Ethernet standard PLCs. The difference being the additional RS-485 port. And that exa is exactly the PLC that I have here. So you can see we have the Ethernet port here we have our RS-232 port here and our RS-45 port here. And it comes as a connector on here. We have a run stop. We have a power light, run light, edit light. We also have connectors and our connectors are for our, our inputs here, our outputs here. And these connectors just pop off. And so we can do some wiring and then put them back on. On the uh, side here we have another connector for our 24 volt uh, supply. We have 24 volt positive, zero, and we have ground. We also have a latch so as we um, connect different modules to it we'll unlock and latch it in and I guess that's why they call it the click. <laughs> our battery compartment is right here and on the back it's actually set up for DIN rail mounting. So we can pop that out, pop in our DIN rail, and once it's popped in, we can just push that down to the bottom, and it latches right onto the DIN rail. So if we, that's our basic unit. On the side here, we have our communication port, or expansion port. It has it comes with a connector, so we can take our connector out, and it pops right out. And we have uh, a analog because our CPU doesn't have an analog on it and our analog unit itself um, it has a indicator light like most IO do up at the top or top left hand corner and it will actually indicate if we have power on or not and this particular card will actually need 0 to 24 volt in order to uh, activate it so once we have the connector moved we can actually just pop those together and we lock them into place and that's uh, our card added. Now all of the PLCs actually need 24 volt so we have a 24 volt power supply that once again we connect and then we click down and that is the system. Then we have our supply voltage that we power up the CPU with and we have our connector here for our analog and we'll put the connector back for a digital I.O. So that's how our, our Click PLC actually goes all together. Now if we look at, there's our input and output modules. They come in a variety of different uh, flavors. They can be uh, DC input, um, and they're both syncing and sourcing, or NPN, PNP. And then we have ACIO modules. That'll, they'll take 100 to 120 volt AC 
24 volt AC or DC. And we also have relay outputs. And also we have combinations of inputs and outputs, etc. For the analog, this analog here is a dual. It has two points, or sorry, four points that are 0 to 10 volts in. And I have two points that are 0 to 10 out. But they also come with uh, your four to uh, 0 to 20 milliamps, 4 to 20 milliamps. Or we can have a card that has four RTD or thermocouple inputs. So it's very good for t sensing temperature, etc. So once I have that all um, put together, and you'll see the connector is in place here, then I can just power that up. And we have some good indication lights here. So everything's functioning properly. So in order to program this, we need to download our PLC software. So we have uh, a con the connection here on the website where we can download the software. And we install it. And if we actually call up, if we look back at the uh, uh, software itself, and we'll just go into setup system configuration and on there uh, system configuration you actually we can put in our power supply which has the ability to produce uh, 1.3 amps you can see my my cpu actually takes away uh, 140 milliamps and my analog card takes away uh, minus uh, uh, 20 milliamps so our power supply at 1.3 amps is enough to power the entire system for everything I need. And unlike most uh, analog, this analog, what we can do is we can actually uh, change uh, and configure um, the actual inputs themselves. So even though we said my input in my case is 0 to 10 volts, I can actually change the, the minimum to say 1 to 5 volts and that would still uh, give you the full resolution um, of my analog. And I can put my scaling range in here so it automatically scales it and what register. So that's it for now. Um, if you need further information or step-by-step, -step, you can go to the website and we have a lot of links to uh, wire up the unit. Also, um, any special needs that you need to take care of when you wire. So if you like this video, please give us a like and subscribe to our video at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.